We have the head coach of the U.S. men's national team, Jurgen Klinsmann. Jurgen, your thoughts on tonight's victory? Well, I mean, first and foremost, uh, huge compliment to the team. Um, it's been exactly what we expected, a very difficult game because uh, we expected them to play very defensively, to be with nine, ten guys behind the ball, to make kind of all the spaces really tight. It's been very difficult to play through their wall, basically, but we found found ways then. We told them at halftime to to keep pushing, you know, to, to raise a little bit the tempo even more, uh, to find more Josie and to find Clint, find those those little gaps that they leave you open and a good team finds them ways to score and that's what uh, what they did. They scored and and they deserve a huge compliment, you know, in in, in a game like this that's what, what really matters is that you kind of keep on going, be patient and and find find that one goal. We do have a wireless microphone, so if you could raise your hands, we'll start here with Stephen Goff. Jurgen, can you just kind of put into words that this is the end of a, a very important and busy stretch for the team, and uh, you came out um, with some good results. Can you kind of give us the big picture here? Well, I, I think the big picture is that uh, that we are growing, you know, that we are um, with every game, you know, especially difficult games like t tonight against a very strong Honduras side, um, that we find ways to break them down, that we find uh, ways to great chances, and that the belief is there sooner or later to put that the ball in the net. Um, I, I think you know the the team more and more understands that it's not only a physical grind that you go in in these games; it's a mental one. And I think mentally we we're, we're getting stronger, we're getting tougher. You know, we are we are now prepared to to go through those games. You know, I mean, at the end of the day, you gotta find those opportunities. We do, um, and that should give the team. More, uh, more confidence, you know. It's every game is a new game to start. We're going to talk always about the same principles, but I think you know we see here a group that is really kind of sticking together, and uh, um, and therefore tonight really deserve a big compliment. Also, I told them a big compliment for for the last three and a half weeks how they how they uh, uh, yeah brought all their energy um, into this this camp. Great. Uh, Jurgen Altidore went nearly two years without scoring in the run of play for the U.S., and now it's four goals in four games. Uh, it seems sort of remarkable. I mean, what what has happened here? Got to ask Josie. Uh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> um, I know. Obviously, we are <clears throat> we are very happy for Josie. Um, we always told him from a coaching um, perspective, you know, that it it takes a lot of hard work. It takes a lot of adjustment. It takes a it takes the right moment to be there. It takes the hunger, you know, and the energy he put in now in the last uh, four or five games has been tremendous. You know, he, it's not only that he scored those goals, you know, the work that he does for the team is 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 awesome. You know, how he starts, you know, the high pressure that we would like to play more and more. He kind of shifts the defenders to the side, you know, he chases them down, he wins ball, balls back. You know, and that energy from Josie is very important to that team. I think he can, you know, he partners up with Clint, you know, he's, uh, he can lean on Clint if there's a difficult moment. Um, I think they really get a better understanding with every match together. Um, and and obviously the biggest uh, um, thing for a striker is always scoring, you know, it gives you confidence, it gives you energy. And, uh, um, and we are very pleased with his path, really very, very pleased. Doug. Jurgen, can you just assess uh, Fabian Johnson's play tonight and take us through your decision-making uh, process in putting him uh, on the back line with DeMarcus out? Well, with, with, with B's out, uh, it was clear that we had to do a change. <laughs> and uh, um, we wanted to go. I mean, we knew that it's going to be very difficult to break them down. We expected this type of a game, and that's why we wanted Eddie Johnson to grind them, to work on them, you know. And, and having also the option with Fabian kind of overlapping and getting forward and and, and creating something for us, you know, and he can do that from either position as a left back or as a left midfielder. So it's uh, it's not a coincidence that then the goal comes comes over his side because that's what we try to 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 push him for, and uh, I think he's a he's an important weapon in our game. Ivis, you're gonna know, early on in camp. Did you get a sense that, or did you get a sense early on in camp that? Josie would have a breakout like this. Was it? Were there signs that he come into camp? Did you, did you see anything there? And also, just talk about your defense, how it's come together, four shutouts in six matches. Well, um, 
from day one on, Josie was spot on. You know, first training session in Cleveland, he looked sharp, he looked good, you know, he looked uh, hungry, you know, and that's uh, even if, you know, Cleveland and the game itself uh, was a bit disappointing from a result point of view, but we had the feeling that he's, uh, he's high energy, you know, he's looking forward to it, um, he's positive, he's coming off a tremendous season with Alkmaar on a personal level. And, uh, uh, and, and that's what we hoped and, you know, over the stretch of three and a half, four weeks that, that he shows all, keeps on showing all those signs and that's, that's what he did. I think our backline um, is coming along, you know. Uh, it will never be perfect. There's no backline playing perfect, you know. Um, and, uh, and it helps them, obviously, to keep the nil um, and it helps them to go through those grinds, through those games where they also have to be kind of the first... Uh, 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 con contributor in terms of build-up, you know, they, I mean, they are forced into to move the ball around quickly. It's not only the defending side of it, you know. If if there's a wall in front of you, you know, your center backs, your your full backs, they have to to be spot on. They have to release the ball quicker in order to find Clint and Josie and and the guys up front. And that's what they're learning right now. They're going through that kind of uh, uh, period right now where they learn to think fast, to pass faster, to decide uh, uh, everything a, a step faster, which is required on an international level. We'll do Matt and then Jeff. Jürgen, do you feel like the team has sort of bought into what you're feeding them? Well, I, I think the team is just, uh, um, <clears throat> as we said, you know, over the last two years, you know, between World Cup cycles, you're always in transition. <laughs> Every team is, you know, Mexico is, we are. Every team out there in the world, they can see that in the Confederations Cup, what's going on. You know, it's 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 uh, uh, it's about finding solutions in on every in every position. It's about developing new chemistry. It's about introducing new players, bringing younger players through. Every nation goes through that process. So, we going through that process, bringing in new players, young players, hungry ones. Um, you know, leadership changed a bit in that team. Obviously, with Clint now being captain, Timmy Howard second. You know, the hierarchy with Michael Bradley and Jermaine Jones is a, is a new one. And, and so everybody adjusts to it, and, and, uh, and that's the, the, the phase we're going through. Um, but I, I think, you know, having experienced players, you know, like Clint, like Timmy, they know what is required on international level. And it's not, not uh, I just can repeat myself, it's not me coming up with the, the style of play, discussions or philosophy. It is what is required internationally. you got to play fast, you got to play at high tempo, you got to play both ways behind the ball uh, and going forward. And, uh, um, and if you want to compete with the best in the world, then one day, that's what you got to do. And I think we're going to slowly get there. You're gonna, it seemed like in the second half, players like Zussi, Dempsey came into the game a lot more. What was behind that? You know, what helped make them so much more effective in the second half, do you think? I mean, it's, it's, it's just the patience and it's also the, the ability to, to raise the bar again, the tempo again in the second half. Um, and we knew that even you know when we stepped on the field first half that it's gonna be, it's gonna be about patience. It's gonna be about tempo, and and it's gonna be about you know bearing them down. And and uh, you know when we raised the tempo, then then suddenly things opened up more. Opportunities were there. I think there was a clear handball in one situation. You know we had other chances. Michael Bradley and Clint with the header, and so we could you could you could smell it. It's coming. It's coming sooner or later. Uh, but they are difficult games, and. Uh, and you just always have to remind them to keep going because there's, uh, um, it is just the way you know, it is then in in these kind of qualifiers you know and and uh, they deserve the biggest compliment because they kept on going and they believed in creating chances and they did it and that's what a, a good team is about. Andreas was kind enough to let us go first <coughs> for the press conference. We'll just take one more if we have. Uh -huh. Matt up here. You're again, realistically, you guys are six points up on the fourth place team with four games to go. Do you feel like you can see the finish line? Um, no, we're not talking about the finish line. You know, we have four games to go. And uh, yes, you know, it gives us a good feeling to be on top of the, the table. And, and, uh, um, and especially when you go in a stretch of almost three months until your next World Cup qualifier. You know, that's what you want to have. And uh, so the team, they succeeded in doing that. You know, it makes them feel good. And... And uh, but we know then once we get together again, 
um, in September, it's going to be another grind. It's going to go back to reality. It's going to be very tough down in Costa Rica, and it's going to be a huge game at home against Mexico. So we know we need more points. We will get those points. But obviously, you know, they deserve a big compliment for what they did the last uh, couple of weeks.